what's up youtube today i just wanted to share a quick video with you all of a subject that one of my subscribers mentioned and i think it's really super super important in medical school and that's how to keep a budget so i haven't been able to post as much as i wanted to this week we've had a bunch of tests it was crazy um, but I'm glad it's over and now I get to share with you guys. So staying on budget in school is one of those things that's pretty hard to do, I think, if you don't really take the time to put into it. Whether you pay for school out of pocket or use loans like me, um, I think it's really important that you have a budget set and try to stick to it. I think when I first started medical school, I kind of underestimated the total expenses that I would have to provide. Just to keep myself afloat, you have to factor in things like food, uh, rent, electricity, you know, the basic necessities. Plus you have to think ahead in the future. So a lot of times you get breaks in medical school and you don't have the expenses to cover those breaks. So you have to be able to utilize your expenses wisely and try to stretch it out as far as possible. So I just wanted to share with you guys a couple tools that I use personally um, to help me with my budget. Um, and it's working pretty well for me so far. Hopefully I can stay on budget and keep it up, especially now because we have this huge break in between now when we start our clinical rotations. So basically I get done here in December. Um, I study for step, I take step in March. I don't start clinical rotations till May. So that's a five month break that I have to incorporate into my budget and make sure I have the funds to accommodate my living expenses. So here's a couple things. So here's an Excel sheet that I use. I use loans to pay for school. So my total amount was $16,083. Um, and so I factored in all my summertime expenses. So my flight home, I'm planning a wedding, I have to make rain payments. I wanted to set some aside for some investment properties, um, living expenses and vacations. And plus I had to save a little bit of money to pay for my step one exam. And they came out to be $7,635. So I subtracted that um, and split the amount into five months. And so my total income was $1,900 roughly. And so now I had to put my monthly expenses. So rent, electric, cell phone, groceries, uh, all kinds of things. Um, and I just subtracted that. And now I go to my summary sheet. And now, so you can see the total monthly income is $1,900. My total monthly expenses is $1,400, which leaves me about $275. I can use that to do some options trading or something like that. And then a cash balance of 228. So now that my budget is set, I utilize this app called Spending on my iPhone, and it allows me to enter my total monthly income and subtract any expenses that I have for that month. So things like groceries, going out to eat, shopping, you name it. So if you like the Excel sheet and you like the app, I will put the links in the description below. Uh, go ahead and check that out. So I would say that these tools have been working pretty well for me. I've been able to stay on budget so far and it feels really nice. It feels so nice that I've been able to save up enough money to take a little midterm trip to New York and go see J. Cole at the KOD concert. It's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna do a nice little vlog summary and show you guys what's gonna happen in New York and it's gonna be great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. I know it's kind of short, but I just wanted to touch on this subject. Um, shout out to my subscriber who mentioned it to me. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, any content that you want uploaded, make sure you drop it down in the comment box below.